Hello everybody and welcome to my reaction to Liam Rossini being appointed Hull City's new head coach. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't film anything immediately and have this out earlier for you guys, but um, I've been away from my main site today for sick form. Uh, I was at a different one and yeah, just, you know, it kind of feels a bit <laughs> awkward just waffling to a camera in the middle of there, surrounded by a lot of people I don't know. When it was announced, I was in an EPQ session when it was announced at half past 11, half past 12, sorry. No, it would have been half past 11. Yeah, half past 11 when it was announced. I thought, right, that's good. It's done now. It's over with. Nice. Uh, we'll read City's statement briefly. And I've also left this conveniently late enough to, well, look at some of these, some of his quotes from his press conference. He's doing a press conference at the stadium with Tan Kessler and Louis Coyle. Um, so we'll see where, uh, so we'll have a look at a few quotes from that once we've read, once I've read this statement as well. So, uh, the highly regarded 38-year-old has signed a two and a half year deal at the MKM Stadium. The former fullback returns to East Yorkshire, having made 161 appearances in black and amber during a five year spell from 2010 to 2015, winning promotion from the championship in 2012-13. Rossini was a key member of the Tigers team that secured our highest league finish of 16th in the Premier League and reached a first ever FA Cup final in 2013-14. The ex-Bristol City Fulham and Reading defender took up his first coaching position at Brighton and Hove Albion in 2018 following his retirement from playing, working as an assistant coach with their under-23s. Joining Derby County set up in July 2019, initially as a specialist first team coach to Philip Koku, he was appointed assistant manager under Wayne Rooney in January 2021. Rossini helped Derby stave off relegation in the 2021 season. And although the Rams succumbed to the drop last season, they put up a valiant effort amid off-field uncertainty and points deductions. Following Rooney's departure, he was handed the reins on an interim basis and presided over seven wins from his 12 games in charge, leaving Derby seventh in League One. We would like to thank Andy Dawson for his efforts as interim head coach and can confirm he will remain part of the club's coaching staff. The full makeup of Rossini's backroom team will be confirmed in due course. So Andy Dawson returns to his previous role as first team coach and there is a familiar face coming in to, uh, to help out Liam Rossini. As to what happens with Robbie Stockdale, um, it was only a temporary basis whilst Andy Dawson was in charge. So I think he will, I think he, uh, Robbie Stockdale will be leaving. And well, a lot of people said, a lot of people rumoured that um, David Myler would be the familiar face joining him. Myler has confirmed on Twitter that isn't the case. And. Well, we'll see. My guess is that it might... Uh, I've heard it mentioned that it's not a former player. So I think on that note, I think it'll be someone from West Brom where Steve Bruce has just been sacked. Because that means... Because Alex Bruce, yes, former player, but could still could still end up being a part of the coaching makeup here. And plus, I don't think his dad will go back into management again. So I think that means Alex is he's off on his own uh, for the time being, well, no, forever in uh, in coaching. I think it could be Alex Bruce, Steve Agnew, or Stephen Clements. Now Agnew was Bruce's assistant manager before he left to be part of Aita Karanka's coaching team at Middlesbrough, and Mike Phelan took his job. Uh, Stephen Clements stayed with Steve Bruce all the way at um, at City. He was. He was he was big. He was he was big in the in the back room. Out of because there was Steve Bruce the assistant, and then I think it was like Keith Burt's chin or summer as the or so or something like that as the first team coach. But then Stephen Clemens, he was always involved with the academy, involved with the first team, and he was a key 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 component uh, when Bru well, for Steve Bruce when he left to Aston Villa, and when he moved on to Sheffield Wednesday. And when he moved on to 
uh, Newcastle and West Brom as well. So I think it, I think it might be the I think it might be one of those two or three. Um, Rosinia said in his press conference, these are coming from City's Twitter. They're tweeting uh, the updates, and the last one at, at the time of recording was seven minutes ago. So. Um, all quotes from Rossinia so far. I'm really excited. It's a club that I love. There are a lot of friendly faces at the training ground. I'm excited to get going and get this club where it was when I was playing. I'm really confident we can be successful. I'm really excited for the future. We've got a really passionate owner who wants the best for the football club. From Louis Coyle, I had a brief conversation, brackets with Liam, this morning. It's fantastic to have someone who knows the club inside out. As a group, we're very excited to work with a new gaffer. Back to Rossinia again. Every job is a challenge. Having a challenge is a great thing. It makes the success even better. My job in the short term is to tip the balance in our favour. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a really talented group of players. We went through a few things this morning in training. We've definitely got the ingredients here for success. You learn about yourself as you go. I had the most wonderful experience working with Wayne Rooney at Derby County in the most difficult circumstances. I'm driven and I demand high standards. Coming from Tan Kessler now, we want to play entertaining football. We want to give the fans reasons to be here and be proud of their club. Liam stood out because of the way he wants to play. And then Louis Coyle, a last quote eight minutes ago, saying, we're a good, honest group. We apply ourselves every day on the training pitch. I think in recent weeks, our performance levels have increased. I think he'll, Liam, take us on a successful journey. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. I'm going to just quickly refresh and see if there are any more. Nothing. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, I'm really happy. Really, really happy with the appointment. Um, yeah, I think Andy Dawson and Rossinia, uh could be an incredible, an incredible, incredible team. And I've just seen from uh, from Burnsy, uh, Rossinia has confirmed that Andy Dawson will actually not be first team coach, be one of two assistant head coaches um, alongside him. Oh, there's more from Burns here. Tan Kessler says they had 40 plus applications from all over the world for the head coach job. Uh, Liam Rossini confirms Andy Dawson will be one of his two assistant head coaches. He can't confirm the second. He said, I can't say it in terms of contracts. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where... Uh, We'll see where that takes us, but yeah, buzzing. 40 applicants, wow. 40. And um, Burnsy has just said he, uh, Rossini admitted to Humberside Sport that Justin Walker, a coach at Derby, could be a possibility. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, happy with the appointment. Really, really happy with the appointment. And let's see what journey... Um, Liam Rossini can take us on and I believe that he uh, is the man to take this club forward. I just hope that if the going gets tough, he's afforded time like Grant McCann was under the Alams. I hope Adjun gives him that time because, he's, because young coaches need time to develop and Rossini, he's always wanted to do this. This has been his aim ever since he started playing. So I think and I am hopeful that this is the one to take us forward. Thank you for watching, everyone. Take care. And Liam Rossini will be in the dugout for our game against Millwall. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.